Anyway, you guys, you want to see something devilishly handsome? My hair right now. morning fam it's a great day I just dropped off sweet bear at a wedding she's gonna be gone the whole day which means it's a boys day again I feel like we're just kind of on repeat because Saturdays pretty much almost every Saturday uh, that I'm not traveling sweet bear probably has a wedding and then it's just me and buckets sitting around the apartment watching basketball but maybe we'll do something fun but maybe we'll just sit around and be authentic I'm not putting on a show for you this isn't a show this is just life Anyway, uh, Buckets, how do you feel today? It's good to hear, it's good to hear. Tonight, the Chicago Bulls play the Cleveland Cavaliers, which I'm excited to watch, because uh, it's always fun to watch those two teams play. I'm wearing the same thing I wore yesterday. Haven't showered yet. I'm gonna go on a big run today. Hopefully you've checked out the blog. I hope you enjoy it. And that's all that's on my mind right now. So, all right, y'all, uh, I've been like editing and doing some stuff all day, uh, but now I'm gonna go for a run. I also, while I was editing, I watched Zootopia. I haven't seen Zootopia yet, uh, and it's nominated for Best Animated Feature tomorrow, so I decided to watch it, and I've heard two things about Zootopia. One, people who just loved it are all about Zootopia. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Uh, and then the other camp of people are people who really, really hated it, and they were upset about the sort of theme of the movie or using the movie being an analogy or an anachronism for racism in America. And clearly that message was, it was there. It was very, very clear. Uh, I liked the movie though. I didn't really have a problem with it. And I, you know, I thought, you know, getting that message across to young people in, in a way that is, that, that is, what most parents would consider safe. I think that's a great thing. Any bamboozles, I'm gonna go for a run right now and it's gonna be glorious. Hey team, I just got back from my run. Um, I was filming something outside and then I realized my phone froze in the middle of it and turned off. So here's the deal. My run was good. I went about five miles, feeling really good. A week ago I ran the half and uh, I'm feeling healthy after that. But I'll tell you what, I am so sick of running in the cold. It's snowing out today, it's windy, and the wind is insane. Like, I'm so tired of running in the cold. I was thinking as I started running and I was complaining to myself, gosh, how many excuses do I have for not running? Like, there's so many excuses. Um, Tired. I just ran a half marathon. I don't need it. My shoes almost have a hole in the bottom of it. It's too cold. There's so always another excuse. Excuses in anything in life are a dime a dozen. There will always be another excuse. What is rare in life is opportunity. Opportunities only come around every now and then. The opportunity to run, the opportunity to pursue a dream, the opportunity to pursue a relationship, whatever it might be, opportunity is a rare thing. So why do we waste our time seizing onto any excuse we can find? Because excuses are everywhere. Why aren't we spending our time grasping onto what is rare? What is rare is opportunity. So I'm gonna let any excuses fly by me because excuses are always gonna be there. I'm gonna grab onto the opportunity. A little Saturday pep talk from my best friends. Oh, it is cold though. It is cold. All right, team, life is good. I got my Subway, I got my NBA, I got my Puppy, and I got water. This will be the rest of my night. Oh, hey, Bucks. How's it going? Oh, hey, sweet bear. Hi. How was your day? It was long and very tiring, but good. But you guys had wedding crashers. We had wedding crashers. People crashed the wedding. That was the first time. That's so funny. Do you want to know what he said? What? So they got in there, and then they walked in, and um, they walked in at a really bad time, 
There was no place cards left because everybody was sitting down for dinner. Bubba, don't lick this hand. It's the hand the camera's in. And so I was like, well, maybe they invited people just for dancing, but it was entrees. Like it wasn't time for dancing yet. So they just like were very not smart about it. And then they walk up to the bar and they grab a drink. And then two of the girls come down to go to the bathroom. And the security guard's like, I don't think these people are guests. And we're like, we don't think so either. So he goes up and the groom happened to be around us. So we asked the groom, hey, did you invite anybody that was coming late? And he's like, no. And then we go up and we show him the guy. And he's like, I've never seen these people in my life. <sighs> and then they go, excuse me, why are you here? And he's like, hey, man, how you doing? Meanwhile, this is the groom and the security guard. And me and Samantha, me and Samantha go and watch because we want to. And so um, they're like talking and he's like, what are you doing here? The groom said that. And he's like... Well, actually, and the groom goes, you here to drink and to party? Yeah, I know. I know what you're doing here. And then the guy goes, actually, I came to serenade you. <laughs> and he goes, what? No. Yes, I'm not kidding. Like he was pretending to be like a singing telegram? Yeah, he's like, no, dude, I just released a wedding song. Like it dropped, like, not kidding, two days ago. Like, I can pull it up on YouTube. Give me two <laughs> seconds. And then they're like talking to him and he's like, wait, I have this. And he brings out something from the welcome bag from one of the hotels so somehow this guy got his hands on a welcome bag oh my gosh and he was there and he was trying to show him his youtube wedding song and the groom's like i don't have time for this it's my wedding day and the security guard was like okay you need to leave wow or you'll be arrested for trespassing wow intense night anyway you guys you want to see something devilishly handsome my hair right now Oh, wow. I love you all. Keep being awesome.